Hi, this is Philip from the Yale Board and Public Library. And today I'm going to teach you how to take classes online here at the library. The first thing you need to do is go to our main webpage, which is at galeborden.info. The next thing you want to do is go over to our Books and More tab and find the section that says Databases. Now it's going to have a big long list of all sorts of different resources that the library has to offer. But the one we're looking for today is called Gale Courses. I like to find it here on the, old, on the right in the list that has all of our databases. Now I already have an account so I'm just going to get signed in real quick here by using sign in on the top right. If you have not created an account before what you're going to do is follow the instructions on the home page, which is basically you find a course that you're interested in and you go to sign in and instead of being a returning student, by signing in like I did, you'll be taken as a new student and you'll have to put in your information. Now you will need a library card that is up to date, so if you get blocked, then most likely what you're going to have to do is just get the expiration taken care of. So you could give us a call and we could fix that. The best place to call for any sort of help when signing up with Gale Courses, if you have any issues, is call 847-429-4680. You could also text us at 847-754-4599. Or email us at gbplweb at galeborden.info. And somebody will get back to you and help you. And later when the library opens, we could also do one-on-one -on -one appointments again and help walk you through signing up for a course if needed. Let's go back. When people use Gale courses or want to go back to take some college courses, Usually they don't want to do an entire degree. Usually they just want to learn a couple skills and move on. So maybe they want to learn Spanish or take some Excel classes or just take some classes for fun like learning how to play guitar or some history courses. Well, if that's all you're looking for, then Gale Courses is going to be perfect for you. Let's pretend that we're a person looking for a new job and a lot of the ads that you're reading, they want you to know the most recent Excel and Word programs. So 2018 or newer. So let's look for classes on Excel. And as it turns out, they have 2019 slash 365 classes here for you. Now they do have some other older versions of Excel, but we're gonna go with the newest one and we're going to start with an introduction because I personally am not great at Excel. I know how it works but I really only know the basics. So let's click on it and learn more about the class. It starts off by telling you what the class is going to be teaching you and who the instructor is. It gives you information about them and why you should listen to them, why they're a good educator. So this person has run their own business and has been teaching Excel for, oh, since 1997 it looks like. Most professors who teach these classes are like that, where they work at other universities and or have been teaching this class for quite a long time. So they are experts in whatever they're teaching. The next thing you can do is check out your syllabus. So you get to see what you're going to do in your six weeks through all 12 of your lessons. All lessons do come in on Wednesday and Friday, but unlike a traditional college class, you don't have to show up for a specific time or even that specific day. So maybe you're only free on Saturdays. On Saturday, you could log in and do Wednesdays and Fridays class, spend a couple hours, get all of that work done, and then do next week's two lessons the following Saturday, etc. There, While there is a live professor there teaching you, 
Usually they've just created all the material and have sent you videos, readings, or recorded lectures. They aren't actually doing any of them live, which makes it a lot more flexible and easier for you to learn. But you still have the ability to contact them, send them work, have them do edits to it, tell you what you need to improve on, and have conversations with them as well as students. So you get a more traditional college experience or classroom experience, but you're not held down by having to show up at a specific day or time. They also tell you what requirements you need. When you're doing stuff like Excel, you have to have that software that you're learning about and a relatively new working computer to be able to run that software. And that's how it's gonna be for most of these classes. The requirements usually aren't very high. Unlike a traditional college class, they don't make you buy a bunch of books or make you spend money on expensive software unless that's the software you actually want to learn. The next section are student reviews. There we go. So typically, there will be lots of quotes from people who have already taken the class, talking about whether they liked it or not. And then finally, when you decide that you want to take the class, you'll hit Enroll Now. You can enroll in any of the months, whatever is best for you. Now I'm going to go quickly over to my classroom to show you what it's like when you take a class. All right, so I've taken five classes so far, and you'll notice that only two of them have certificates. That's another one of the nice things. So when you go to a traditional school, it's pass-fail, they keep a record of what your GPA is, all of that, but for here, it's really just about educating yourself and learning. Now, the two classes that I've taken most recently, I didn't get certificates because I definitely did not finish those classes. Now, I didn't want to learn everything, I just wanted to learn what I needed to know. And if I need more, I could always come back later. So, I got about two, three weeks into the class and I learned what I needed to learn. Then I left, and that was fine. Uh, of course, I didn't get a certificate, but I was able to get the knowledge I needed and that's what was important. Let's take a quick look here at some of the other classes see what their list of popular ones are. So, looks like language, accounting, drawing for beginners, Excel, grammar, interior design, grant writing, Excel, business writing. So as you can see, there's a large plethora of different things from things that will help you in your job, such as Excel and accounting, as to just stuff that you want to learn, like how to draw. I think they even have classes on guitar. Yeah, so even if you just want to teach yourself a musical instrument. So that's the great thing about Gale courses. You could do it for pleasure, you could do it for business, you could do it to better yourself, and there's no pressure. You get it done when you need to get it done. You're just out a little bit of time and you could always go back and retake it later. Just like I said earlier, we are happy to help people who may need a little bit of extra help setting up Gale courses or if you want more information about it. And again, you could call the library, text us, email us, and when the library opens back up, you can do one-on-one -on -one help with us and we'll be happy to sit you down, set you up, and help you sign up for your first class and learn some great things.